Welcome to the TPC Desktop video series on using Kogo. In this video, we're going to learn about using Kogo from within a drawing itself. I brought up one of our sample surveys here, and I want to show you um, one of the differences between using Kogo in a drawing and using Kogo elsewhere in Traverse PC. And I'm going to do that by just zooming in. And I want to select two points here. And I've turned on point labels, so we've got point labels to select them. We could also select them by the endpoints of their line. I'm going to come up and use this button up here that says Select Objects. Any object I click now gets selected and Traverse PC grays it out. So I'm going to select the east end of that line and the west end of that line and right click to tell Traverse PC I'm done selecting now. Now I want to come up and choose Kogo Random Inverse. And I want you to see that Traverse PC automatically populated the random inverse box or the dialog box with the two points that I selected inside the drawing 234 and 232 and now I know that the distance between them is 100 feet so um, the drawing interacts with the Kogo dialog boxes based on what objects are selected or as you'll see in a moment what objects you right click um, let's take another look at this Let's close out this dialog box. Let's unselect this object. Let's put the cursor now over point 259. And this time, instead of choosing Kogo at the top of the drawing view, I'm simply going to right click 259 and go to Kogo. And now I'm going to choose random inverse. This time, Traverse PC said, I know I've got point 232 already selected in the drawing. So I'm going to anchor that as one of the points. But the user just now put the cursor over 259 and right-clicked and chose Kogo. So I'm going to use 259 as the other point. Okay? I'm going to come back to the drawing now. I'm going to put the cursor over 258. I'm going to right-click, go to Kogo, random inverse. And this time now I have the inverse between 232, which again is the anchored point because I selected it, and 258, which is the point I just selected. And of course, I could also use the chevron and come down and pick any other point in the project or any other endpoint of a line in the project. And in this case, because 257 is at the end of that line, it recalls it for me. So a drawing that I'm working on and the Kogo dialog boxes are really very interactive. Let's take another look at an example of this. I'm going to close out the random inverse. I'm going to tell Traverse PC to unselect all the objects that are currently selected. Um, I've got a center line of a road here. Scroll back out for Sproul Avenue. Let's go ahead and scroll back in a little bit. And I'm going to tell Traverse PC I want to select that center line. So let's right click and select it. So this is now a selected object in the drawing. Let's put the cursor over 285, right click, Go to Kogo, and this time let's choose Offset to Line. And let's bring that dialog box over here so we can see what it's doing. Notice that Traverse PC populated the line in this dialog box based on what I had selected in the drawing. So this picked point and this bearing I'm looking at here are the starting point and the bearing of the center line of Sproul Avenue. Now on the next line down, I see that my offset point or the point I'm offsetting from is 285 because that's the point that I right clicked in the drawing when I chose the Kogo command. Um, I've chosen the perpendicular offset option. That's the, probably the last one I used when I last had this dialog box open. And maybe all I wanted to do was bring up this dialog box so I could see that my offset distance from 285 to the center of Sproul Avenue is right here. It's 39.94 feet. Or Maybe I needed to create a point for that offset. So I'm going to do 285-1, choose Save, tell Traverse PC I want to make it part of the survey, and plot it. And now Traverse PC has drawn 285-1 at the offset location from 285. I'm going to stop with that command, but I want to just put the cursor back over one of these point labels, right-click and go to Kogo, and let this menu pop up. You can see there are many, many things I can do uh, related to Kogo in a drawing. Picking an offset to a right-of-way, 
or doing a predetermined area or creating multiple points on a line. All of these are available based on the objects that I select within a drawing. So I can do this from a, another manager like a traverse manager or a point manager, from another view like a traverse view, or I can do COBA right here in the drawing itself.